Hello and welcome to Art Battle Mexico City. We are here tonight with 12 incredible artists ready to step up to the easel and take on not only the 20 minute clock, but also these blank canvases right in front of your eyes. We will be beginning round number one in just a few moments where we will be featuring our first six artists. That will be Daniel Salcedo, Carla Salsa Valdez, Tad Zombie, Katie Lorraine, Axel Flores, and Arturo Macias. We will be going live with round number one in just a few minutes. Thanks for tuning in. We are here for Art Battle Mexico City.
Okay, and we have just begun art battle in Mexico City. I'm sure we will be bringing the camera up to the easels in just a few moments to see our six incredible artists who are painting in the qualifying round number one. Top two artists from each round, round number one, round number two, will move on to the third and final round where they will paint again in a hope to win the title of winner of this event. I'm just getting word that this is our opening painter, Bernardo Flores. El arte que va peleando con el reloj. Only five minutes into this painting, and it looks like Bernardo has got the starts of a wonderful portrait going on. Uh, approaching this piece in a monochrome.
looks like our featured artist Bernardo Flores is just approaching the halfway mark of his 20 minute painting in this opening featured artist special timed event. We're getting um, kind of like a 1920s play on the uh, sad clown. Very interesting execution here. We're zoomed in a little bit and getting a bit of a closer view of what Bernardo Flores is working on. Once again, our featured artist for uh, this Mexico City Art Battle event. He is our opening painter. And what an expressive portrait we are being treated to right now. Uh, Bernardo has been painting for 11 minutes only. And I have to say, this is quite an accomplished painting for only... Uh, only 11 minutes. He's halfway through the amount of time that has been allotted for the painting of this piece. And I'm loving the vigor and energy that Bernardo is putting into the canvas here. We're really uh, getting some rapid brush movements, establishing the hair right now. Uh, and the emotive quality of this figure is just incredible. And just bringing in that warm red tone underneath the eyes. Coming from the nose in our uh, sad stylized clown here. What a clever piece. I believe that this might even be um, a portrait of the 1930s classical character uh, Weary Willie, portrayed by Emmett Kelly. So quite the throwback going on here. Doing a little bit of a Google. Uh, Weary Willie was an American circus performer at the time. And really created a name for himself with uh, this highly stylized character. Just 
Just about six and a half minutes left on the clock here. This piece is available for silent auction at artbattle.com slash vote. If you are falling in love with this portrait of Weary Willie here. Only five minutes remaining on our featured artist piece by Bernardo Flores. We can see that Bernardo is now uh, adding in some atmospheric details in the background. Really grounding the figure. Bernardo has an absolutely excellent sense of uh, light play and contrast here. This is a really well executed piece. Not only is it um, emotive and also uh, referencing historical pop culture, but it's also really well executed in terms of its light play um, and subtle uses of color. Okay. A big congratulations to our featured artist, Bernardo Flores, uh, who created this painting in an opening act for the art battle competition that will be beginning in only five minutes. Uh, just under five minutes, we will be beginning round number one, and we will see our first six qualifying artists who will be battling the clock for 20 minutes in an effort to capture your votes.
Looks like we've got a great energy in the room tonight as people are gathering at our event in Art Battle or in Mexico City for this Art Battle. We are getting ready to announce our round number one artists. Coming up in round number one, we will have Daniel Salcido, Carla Sosa Valdez, Ricardo Tadeo Tello, Katie Lorraine, Alex Flores, and Arturo Macias. In only a few minutes, these artists will be laying down the paint with only 20 minutes on the clock. The top two artists from round number one and round number two, our qualifying rounds, will move on to the third and final round with a brand new canvas and another 20 minutes on the clock. Super, super important is your job as the audience to vote for your favorite artist. These guys are going to be working super hard, uh, painting their hearts out, and it's your job to support them. So not only are you voting for your favorite artist, but who you want to see paint again. So los aclaro porque ya nos pasó que han pasado el día antes de la cuenta de comienzo y ya han tenido que ser descalificados. Así que nadie puede tocar su lienzo hasta que hagamos la cuenta regresiva para comenzar esta primera ronda. Y bueno, antes de comenzar, yo quisiera presentar a los que eran Our artists are readying their paint, just filled with adrenaline at this point, waiting for the countdown for the timer to begin. Es una artista apasionada que se esfuerza por establecer una conexión con su audiencia a través de su arte. Con por primera vez en Art Battle, hagamos ruido para recibir a Carla Sosa. Especializado en surrealismo oscuro con matices pop. En el caballete número 3 tenemos a un concursante participando por primera vez en Art Battle. Si te gusta lo oscuro, este artista te lo puede traer. Recibamos a Tatsomi 
valiente número 6, Arturo Macías. Yo les voy avisando, ya vamos la cuenta regresiva para comenzar esta batalla de arte. And we are off with 20 minutes on the clock for round number one. And I have to say, I think that's the quickest paint application that I literally have ever seen. Katie uh, got all of the amount of blue that's on her canvas right now onto the canvas at, in three seconds. We saw her literally throw the paint at the canvas. Uh, so I think we're in for a treat with Katie Lots of uh, exciting movement in the first 30 seconds from her. And here we are with Axel Flores. Uh, this is Axel's very first art battle event. And here we are too with Arturo Macias. And wow, so always so uh, exciting to see a double-handed technique. I have to say that I'm always blown away by that. I'm just like, how does your brain work that... Both of your hands are in a flurry of painting already. And here we are with Daniel Salcedo. And uh, Daniel has actually won art battle before in Chapala in 2020. And Daniel is really well known for um, his illustrations that have kind of a dark, sassy vibe. Um, a little bit feminine, uh, cute, but also leaning into uh, a bit of a darker attitude. And here with Carla. And... Carla's work is often um, incorporating black and white elements and then uh, splashes and elements of color. And it is Carla's very first art battle. So welcome, Carla. Here we are with Tad Zombie, a.k.a. Ricardo Tadeo Osorio Tello. Uh, and Ricardo, Tad Zombie, is really well known for uh, its kind of chaotic black and white work that is incorporating elements of like a creepy macabre uh, character sometimes, but I'm not sure if that's the style that we'll see from him tonight because uh, as I'm looking at it now, we're seeing a much smaller sketch than some of the character-driven pieces that I've seen uh, in his portfolio before. And here we are back with Katie Lorraine. Some fun facts about Katie is Katie is actually a traveling artist. She is visiting Mexico City today from Toronto, where she is an Art Battle Toronto winner and often uh, does the live commentary with me at the Toronto events. Katie's got a really fun, expressive uh, style of working, and she's a real joy to watch create as well. I'm very curious what she's doing right now. It almost looks like she's trying to poke a hole in the canvas. I feel like I know where this is going, but I don't want to call it too early and ruin anybody else's fun. I think that uh, this piece is going to be really sassy from Katie. Okay, and back with Axel. Axel is a multidisciplinary uh, artist who has a lot of different uh, talent facets. They do sculpture uh, and tattooing, and always with a surrealist flair. 
So Axel really uh, tends to call towards different art historical movements, mostly in the surrealist realm. And we're seeing this kind of undulating line work from Axel here. So I wonder uh, if he will be calling to that again. And here we are with Arturo. And this application is just so interesting to me. Uh, he really did such a great job in terms of uh, performance painting and just getting all of that black paint onto the canvas. Just a, a really a great application. And we can see even the way that he's applying uh, these brighter colors on top of the black, that there's an effort to blend, but also a concentration of vibrancy in certain uh, spaces. So really interesting application technique. I don't think that I've seen anything quite like this before. When I was checking out Arturo's portfolio, I would describe his works as kind of abstracted color clouds on a black field. And that's exactly what we're being treated to right now. Uh, always exciting to see how an artist translates their studio work into the live painting arena. And back with Daniel here. And looks like we're getting one of his signature uh, sassy characters here. I really am loving the color palette of this uh, teal mixed with the red. Uh, I love that the red is the drawing element. And then, of course, the yellow. So a little bit of primary color play going on here. Five minutes or six minutes down on the clock. These are just have 14 minutes remaining. The top two artists from this round and the top two artists from the next qualifying round, round number two, will move on to the final. So make sure that you go to artbattle.com slash vote. That's where you will register to vote and you can choose your favorite artist. Choose who you want to see paint again in round number three. All of these pieces are also going to be available for silent auction at that same link. We will ship them to you. And here with Carla now, looks like she is working on a tiger here. Bear with us as uh, we are having a little bit of camera trouble at the venue. I'm sure that we will pop back in soon. We are just chatting with our venue right now, working to get our camera back up, which should be back up very, very shortly. Um, in the meantime, head on over to artbattle.com slash vote so you can get ahead of your min task of registering uh, at that link to make sure that you can vote in this round.
We are working with our venue to get our camera feed back. We will be back in just a few moments. Thank you so much, everyone, for your patience. It can be a little daunting to uh, stream art events from all over the world, and sometimes there's a little bit of technical difficulties, but we always appreciate you guys watching and staying tuned with us. In the meantime, while we wait for our venue cam to pick back up, let's check out some highlights from the U.S. National Championship that happened earlier this month. We are going to check out some uh, final rounds from Toronto. This is a Porsche Taycan car painted by Ray Maziri at an art battle event in Toronto. Ah, and looks like we are back in Mexico City for the end of round number one. I believe there are just a few minutes uh, left on the clock here.
All right, and we are headed back up to the easels for the final rounds. The final few minutes of round number one. Really enjoying this uh, kind of undulating cataclysm of line work that Axel has going on here. So smooth, such uh, beautiful, smooth, specific line work. Wow, this piece from Arturo here is just so beautiful. These colors are really uh, just dancing over this black background here. So much gorgeous subtlety and moments of vibrancy. You really get a sense of this color kind of flowing in and out of uh, this void-like space almost. All right, visiting uh, Daniel Salcedo again. And wow, so much progress on this piece. The uh, beautiful line work that Daniel is able to achieve, especially in that hand there, just uh, these, creating these kind of gestural moments. And this character is just so mischievous. I'm loving it. I think that uh, Daniel's decision to go with a totally black background is just really underlining the vibrancy of this character. Here we are back with Carla Sosa Valdez and her lion piece here with these uh, amber eyes and looks like she's just going into the fur of this lion here and just creating some texture. And checking out what Tad Zombie is up to here. Wow, this piece went in such an unexpected direction. Uh, with the background being so light and the line work being uh, so specific. And now even here we're seeing Tad uh, spraying the canvas with these small bits of, I believe, metallic. Really cool piece here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, Katie. This is so hilarious. So I think everyone by now has guessed that uh, this is Mrs. Potato Head. Uh, but a Frida character. Final countdown. Let's see how Katie finishes this piece here. Okay, that concludes. That concludes round number one of Art Battle in Mexico City tonight. We have had six awesome artists painting with us in this 20-minute round. Now is the time for you guys to vote at artbattle.com slash vote. The top two artists from this round will move on, along with the top two artists from round number two, will move on to a final round and will paint again. So if you loved watching these guys painting, who do you want to see paint again? We have uh, quite the array of styles here represented in round number one. We've got uh, more illustrative work with Daniel. 
uh, some leaning more surreal with our uh, artist Tad Zombie. <laughs> Our artist tr from Toronto, Katie, singing uh, into the camera. Wow, some really uh, specific line work here from Tad Zombie. And of course, this. Uh, Definitely tongue in cheek. Uh, Frida, Mrs. Potato Head from Katie Lorraine. Beautiful uh, line work from Axel Flores. Now is the time for you to vote at artbattle.com slash vote. Vote for your favorite artists and who you want to see. Move on to round number three. We will be back uh, with another six artists, six blank canvases, and 20 minutes on the clock in just a few minutes. And here we are to Sin tocar, sin tocar. 
del lienzo. Y empezamos. Todos juntos a la parte de 10, 9. Lo escucho. And we are off with 20 minutes on the clock for round number one. And I have to say, I think that's the quickest paint application that I literally have ever seen. Katie uh, got all of the amount of blue that's on her canvas right now onto the canvas at, in three seconds. We saw her literally throw the paint at the canvas. Uh, so I think we're in for a treat with Katie. Lots of uh, exciting movement in the first 30 seconds from her. And here we are with Axel Flores. Uh, this is Axel's very first art battle event. And here we are too with Arturo Macias. And wow, so always so uh, exciting to see a double-handed technique. I have to say that I'm always blown away by that. I'm just like, how does your brain work that... Both of your hands are in a flurry of painting already. And here we are with Daniel Salcedo. And uh, Daniel has actually won Art Battle before in Chapala in 2020. And Daniel is really well known for um, his illustrations that have kind of a dark, sassy vibe. Um, a little bit feminine, uh, cute, but also leaning into uh, a bit of a darker attitude. And here with Carla. And... Carla's work is often um, incorporating black and white elements and then uh, splashes and elements of color. And it is Carla's very first art battle. So welcome, Carla. Here we are with Tad Zombie, a.k.a. Ricardo Tadeo Osario Tello. Uh, and Ricardo, Tad Zombie, is really well known for uh, its kind of chaotic black and white work that is incorporating elements of like a creepy macabre uh, character sometimes, but I'm not sure if that's the style that we'll see from him tonight because uh, as I'm looking at it now, we're seeing a much smaller sketch than some of the character-driven pieces that I've seen uh, in his portfolio before. And here we are back with Katie Lorraine. Some fun facts about Katie is Katie is actually a traveling artist. She is visiting Mexico City today from Toronto, where she is an Art Battle Toronto winner and often uh, does the live commentary with me at the Toronto events. Katie's got a really fun, expressive uh, style of working, and she's a real joy to watch create as well. I'm very curious what she's doing right now. It almost looks like she's trying to poke a hole in the canvas. I feel like I know where this is going, but I don't want to call it too early and ruin anybody else's fun. I think that uh, this piece is going to be really sassy from Katie. Okay, and back with Axel. Axel is a multidisciplinary uh, artist who has a lot of different uh, talent facets. They do sculpture uh, and tattooing and always with a surrealist flair. So Axel really uh, tends to call towards different art historical movements, mostly in the surrealist realm. And we're seeing this kind of undulating line work from Axel here. So I wonder uh, if you will be calling to that again. And here we are with Arturo. And this 
application is just so interesting to me. Uh, he really did such a great job in terms of uh, performance painting and just getting all of that black paint onto the canvas. Just a, a really a great application. And we can see even the way that he's applying uh, these brighter colors on top of the black that there's an effort to blend, but also a concentration of vibrancy in certain uh, spaces. So really interesting application technique. I don't think that I've seen anything quite like this before. When I was checking out Arturo's portfolio, I would describe his works as kind of abstracted color clouds on a black field. And that's exactly what we're being treated to right now. Uh, always exciting to see how an artist translates their studio work into the live painting arena. And back with Daniel here and looks.
Okay, we are officially 20 minutes on the clock, starting round number two of Art Battle in Mexico City with a fresh crop of six artists, six blank canvases, and 20 minutes on the clock. The top two artists from this round will move on with the top two artists from round number one into a third and final round where they will paint again. So keep in mind as you're watching these artists work, uh, and you are enjoying what they're working on right now that you can vote for them and see them paint again. Wow, off to quite the start for Monica. Uh, 30 seconds in only and she has uh, just over half of her canvas completely covered in this beautiful uh, teal and blue gradient with a little bit of pink warmth in there. Uh, I'm betting that we will see a landscape from Monica. All right, heading over to Fernando Renteria. And Fernando is really well known for creating these kind of uh, punk characters with uh, super vibrant colors surrounded by black. And I love, as I'm saying that, we're literally see him seeing him adding the black to this vibrant character already. Seeing kind of a, a blank eyed face and then uh, this black appendage coming off of this character. So 90 seconds in, it'll be interesting to see how that evolves. Easel number three, we have Adina Shore and Adina uh, actually is a previous winner. She won Art Battle in Mexico City in July 2019 and she has also been a participant in Art Battle Vancouver. So Adina just can't get enough, loves the rush of the art battle competition. I cannot wait to see what Adina brings to the easel for us today. We can kind of see these, uh, this color pattern just emerging uh, and great directionality already from Adina. And here we are with Jamie Ben Cruz. And Jamie is quite the chameleon of an artist and can really execute a wide array of styles. So I really had no guess as to where Jamie would be going tonight, but it looks like we are getting a portrait and a really interesting application technique here in just the first three minutes. We can see that Jamie has roughed in the portrait uh, by creating these values with a larger brush and the portrait has been executed in this soft blue color but uh, already we're seeing him putting in this dark dark background so I like to see that I really feel like it's going to help him um, achieve that contrast balance when you add your background in when you're doing a portrait it really helps you um, understand where your values need to be and here we are with uh, Muriel and love seeing this uh, from Muriel. Muriel is, again, an artist that has just so much multi-talent uh, in terms of different styles that she's able to execute. Uh, I was looking at her portfolio and saw she can do uh, pop culture portraits. She can reference art history uh, and always with a certain vibrancy. And here we are with Eduardo uh, Lozano, I believe. And Eduardo is well known for creating these really beautiful, emotive, expressive portraits. And I believe that that's what we're seeing right now. We're getting such a great instance of these chaotic brushwork uh, up at the top of the portrait here in the hair and uh, that's looking like knife work to me and then a little bit more specific and tighter into the face.
And here we are back with uh, Monica Aceto. And wow, I have to say, I'm just so incredibly impressed with the way that she's blending these color gradients um, and having that warm, warm, uh, almost fluorescent red right up against that blue there. It's just gorgeous. Okay, uh, back with Fernando here. And we saw his initial uh, first beginnings of this sketch. And it now has turned into... Uh, this mildly threatening caterpillar scorpion Thomas the Tank Engine uh, kind of character. And I have to say, it's so much fun. It's such a distinct style um, from Fernando here. It's really recognizable the way that he executes um, his characters and the attitude that he executes uh, the characters with as well. And back with Adina and getting these beautiful uh, striations of color here. An interesting technique in that she had these vibrancies going with uh, all of these orange swipes here. And now she's kind of containing it with more neutral colors. And back with Jamie Ben Cruz here. Uh, I like getting kind of this view into his palette because we're seeing that he's using a pretty limited palette here uh, with just the blues and the blacks. And so initially, of course, I'm thinking that that's where that's basically the neighborhood that we're going to stay in. Um, and then we look down at his palette and we can see that Jamie actually has the full color wheel uh, going on down there. So I believe that we're going to start seeing some different elements of color layering in over here now. Looks like Jamie's adding some depth in here with this maroon. And I think that all of the black work um, in this portrait is actually almost a navy. And here we are back with uh, Muriel. And uh, I tried in the break to look up how to say this dog breed's name. I think we all know uh, what kind of dog this is. Famous Mexican dog breed. Uh, and I'm not going to try to say it. So if you are watching in the comments, you can uh, let me know how to pronounce that. I'd super appreciate it. But... I've seen uh, this dog in Muriel's portfolio before, and it was an absolutely stunning piece. So I can't wait to see uh, how she tightens up that execution as well. And back at easel number six with Eduardo, and we are just getting the beautiful building of this portrait. I'm loving the um, expressive chaotic energy that is directly contrasted by the serenity of the figure's face. Uh, with the closed eyes and thoughtful expression surrounded by this kind of uh, chaotic, expressive brushwork. And now we're seeing Eduardo going into the shoulders of the figure um, and with a very much a dripping technique. Back with Monica. And Monica's ha ability to handle all of these different super vibrant uh, values without getting them muddied is really um, something to be celebrated. It's such a challenge to work wet on wet um, as you are forced to do in a time challenge such as art battle. A lot of the time people, um, artists who use acrylic paint, use acrylic paint because they're very uh, used to it drying very quickly so that they can layer on top of it. When you're in art battle, you're forced basically to work wet on wet. Um, and that can provide a challenge. But Monica looks like she's doing a great job here. 
Okay, back with Fernando, and uh, now we're getting these stylized kind of Mickey Mouse gloves on all of the legs of this super fun scorpion. It's almost a take on, like, uh, like traditional carnival art um, and, like, cartoons in, uh, like, early cartoons, early Mickey Mouse really interesting take here i'm having a lot of fun watching fernando paint um and just enjoying the surprises as they come to us in the canvas eight and a half minutes left on the clock so make sure that you go to artbattle.com slash vote this is where you will register to choose your favorite artist choosing the artist that you want to see paint again in round number three who you think has done the best here we are with Adina Shore. Uh, a lot of very specific brushwork um, surrounding these almost looks like leaves or feathers. Great directionality in this piece. I'm really enjoying the mix of vibrancy and then some of the more subtle elements of those kind of toned out greens. Although, uh, with this level of specificity, I am a little bit concerned with the amount of negative space that she's got going on around uh, that composition. Will she be able to execute and complete the rest of the painting with seven minutes left on the clock? Back with Jamie here, and he's working in this almost lilac tone to uh, create his mid-tones. And I gotta say, I love how stylized this portrait is. The uh, kind of graphic novel quality of some of the line work here and the establishment of the shadows and the compartmentalization of the highlights um, and the shadows. And then, of course, the blue in the hair is a pretty classic um, graphic novel slash, uh, yeah, graphic novel style. And it's being executed in a pretty painterly way with a lot of evident brush strokes, um, a high degree of expressiveness and gestural work. Back with Muriel here. And uh, again, I have to say just a beautiful execution of this very specific dog breed here. A lot of uh, recognizable imagery going on. I think that uh, we've got maybe a little bit of some skulls at the bottom of the neck of this dog here. But again, with uh, six minutes left on the clock only, I worry a little bit um, about how much negative space Muriel has going on in the canvas. It's really going to be a battle against the clock for her. Oh, stunning. So, so excited um, and so grateful to our camera person for staying here for this moment, uh, hanging out with Muriel and seeing her applying gold leaf to this piece. What, um, what a stunning application technique in, with only five minutes remaining. Uh, I bet that that's going to be a real crowd pleaser. The crowd really loves um, elements of surprise, especially in live painting. So as uh, we were talking about worrying about some elements of negative space from other artists, uh, I think that Eduardo has treated this really well in that he's using the negative space very much to his advantage and being has up until this point been fairly sparing outside of the face and the hair of the figure. Um, and this use of the dripping technique really brings everything together and harmonizes it by bringing this color down to the bottom of the canvas.
back with Monica here and I'm just, I'm stunned and so impressed with this piece. Um, her ability to handle tones and uh, vibrancy is just, it's so wonderful. I am especially loving uh, this fiery reflection of the sunset that she's been able to capture in the river in the foreground. Uh, I just think that this piece is wonderful. I think it's really uh, giving us some beautiful, unique qualities. And again, just having so much fun over here uh, with Fernando Renteria, a.k.a. Major Stardust, which uh, I love. Just everything about this piece is fun, but there's also so much punk attitude in it as well. This is art not taking itself too seriously in the best way. Okay, and here we are back with Adina Shore, and she's taking a really aggressive um, stance on how she was going to deal with all of that negative space. We're seeing her using her hand to blend this neutral tone upward into uh, this, this plant-like composition that she's established so far. With two and a half minutes left on the clock, uh, how is she going to treat that? Is, she, is it going to be looser than she wants it to be? Or is this, uh, has this been in her plan all along? And this portrait from Jamie has just evolved so much uh, since we saw it last with the addition of these yellows and greens. Um, more veering away from that kind of graphic novel territory and really leaning into the painterly style. Uh, it looks like he has also added some more blue back into the hair. And we have just 90 seconds left on the clock. So make sure that you head over to artbattle.com slash vote and register to vote for these artists. They have been painting their absolute hearts out for the last 19 minutes in an effort to create the best work that they can uh, in this timed arena that takes a lot of creativity and courage. So make sure that you go over there and support them. Choose your favorite artist and they could be moving on to the third and final round. One winner uh, will be crowned in this event, and that winner will move on to the Mexico City Finals. So lots at stake here tonight. Stunning work from uh, Muriel here. And I know firsthand how difficult uh, gold leaf application can be, and looks like she's done a great job Um laying down this gold leaf in a very painterly fashion. We saw uh, her kind of using the paint as the uh, glue. That is it. That is it for round number two of Art Battle in Mexico City. Again, uh, quite the array of different styles in this round. Uh, we've seen works that are more abstracted here, like Adina Shores. Uh, we've seen expressive portraits. We've seen some really fun caricature work. 
a beautiful landscape as well. Um, some unconventional material use with uh, Muriel's gold leaf. So who was your favorite? We would love to hear in the comments, but even more importantly, uh, now is the time to cast your vote and choose which artists will move forward. All of these works are also available for silent auction. We will ship these works to you. If you're falling in love with them as much as I am, you might have to battle me in the auction a little bit. Um, in the meantime, as we get ready for round number three and count the crowd's votes, count your votes out in the internet uh, and get our artists ready to battle again, uh, we are going to watch some highlights from earlier tonight. So stay tuned back for the third and final round in just a few minutes. She's doing right now it almost looks like she's trying to poke a hole in the canvas I feel like I know where this is going but I don't want to call it too early and ruin anybody else's fun I think that uh, this piece is gonna be really sassy from Katie okay and back with Axel Axel is a multidisciplinary uh, artist who has a lot of different uh, talent facets. They do sculpture uh, and tattooing and always with a surrealist flair. So Axel really uh, tends to call towards different art historical movements, mostly in the surrealist realm. And we're seeing this kind of undulating line work from Axel here. So I wonder uh, if you will be calling to that again. And here we are with Arturo. And this application is just so interesting to me. Uh, he really did such a great job in terms of uh, performance painting and just getting all of that black paint onto the canvas just a, a really a great application and we can see even the way that he's applying uh, these brighter colors on top of the black that there's an effort to blend but also a concentration of vibrancy in certain uh, spaces so really interesting application technique I don't think that I've seen anything quite like this before when I was checking out Arturo's portfolio I would describe his works as kind of abstracted color clouds on a black field and that's exactly what we're being treated to right now uh, always exciting to see how an artist translates their studio work into the live painting arena and back with Daniel here and looks like we're getting one of his signature uh, sassy characters here. I really am loving the color palette of this uh, teal mixed with the red. Uh, I love that the red is the drawing element. And then, of course, the yellow. So a little bit of primary color play going on here. Five minutes or six minutes down on the clock. These artists have 14 minutes remaining. The top two artists from this round and the top two artists from the next qualifying round, round number two, we'll move on to the final so make sure that you go to artbattle.com slash vote that's where you will register to vote and you can choose your favorite artist choose who you want to see paint again in round number three all of these pieces are also going to be available for silent auction at that same link we will ship them to you and here with carla now Looks like she is working on a tiger here. For your patience. There, just uh, these creatures. 
All right, and we are headed back up to the easels for the final rounds. The final few minutes of round number one. Really enjoying this uh, kind of undulating cataclysm of line work that Axel has going on here. So smooth, such a uh, beautiful, smooth, specific line work. Wow, this piece from Arturo here is just so beautiful. These colors are really uh, just dancing over this black background here. So much gorgeous subtlety and moments of vibrancy. You really get a sense of this color kind of flowing in and out of uh, this void-like space almost. All right, visiting uh, Daniel Salcido again, and wow, so much progress on this piece. The uh, beautiful line work that Daniel is able to achieve, especially in that hand there, just uh, these, creating these kind of gestural moments. And this character is just so mischievous. I'm loving it. I think that uh, Daniel's decision to go with a totally black background is just really underlining the vibrancy of this character. Here we are back with Carla Sosa Valdez and her lion piece here with these uh, amber eyes and looks like she's just going into the fur of this lion here and just creating some texture. And checking out what Tad Zombie is up to here. Wow, this piece went in such an unexpected direction. Uh, with the background being so light and the line work being uh, so specific. And now even here we're seeing Tad uh, spraying the canvas with these small bits of, I believe, metallic. Really cool piece here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, Katie. This is so hilarious. So I think everyone by now has guessed that uh, this is Mrs. Potato Head, uh, but a Frida character. countdown. Let's see how Katie finishes this piece here. Okay, that concludes that concludes round number one of Art Battle in Mexico City tonight. We have had six awesome artists painting with us in this 20 minute round. Now is the time for you guys to vote at artbattle.com slash vote. The top two artists from this round will move on along with the top two artists from round number two. We'll move on to a final round and we'll paint again. So if you loved watching these guys painting, who do you want to see paint again? We have uh, quite the array of styles here represented in round number one. We've got uh, more illustrative work with Daniel. 
Uh, some leaning more surreal with our uh, artist Tad Zombie. We are just waiting for the final votes to come in and we will announce who will be painting in the third and final round. The top four artists as voted by the audience, as voted by you, of who you want to see paint again. And round number three will be announced very, very shortly. We are just gearing up for round number three, resetting the easels. Crowd is getting ready. Who did you vote for? We would love to hear in the comments. As we wait for our winner announcement and for our final artists to get ready for round number two, let's watch some highlights from the previous round that just happened. Oh, here we are with our winner announcement, I believe. Spoke a little bit too soon. Our MC having fun tonight. Love it.
Looks like our MC is getting ready to announce our winners. Estamos listos? Dar los nombres de los que van a la ronda final. Quiero decirles algo. Esto, este evento, lo estamos subiendo por Instagram. El director general de todo esto está abierto allá en el radar. Que les toque un favor porque estamos esperando. Al final, al final de todo esto, todos tenemos México, 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 como cosas suyas, Ponta, hasta el final de, de todo esto, ¿verdad? ¿ah? Para que vean lo que somos, o sea, hoy somos pocos, pero con calidad, ¿ok? Vienen los nombres de los finalistas de la primera ronda. Cuando los denuncien que se oiga, que se oiga ese ambiente que tenemos los mexicanos. Los finalistas de la primera ronda es Daniel Salcedo. They are getting ready to paint again in the final where they will have another 20 minutes on the clock and another blank canvas in front of them. They will have that time to create an even better work than they were voted forward with, even better than their qualifying work, uh, because only the best will win tonight. One artist will emerge the winner of Art Battle Mexico City tonight and will be then moving on to the Mexico City Finals. So high stakes tonight, very exciting. We will be back in just a few minutes. In the meantime, as we wait for our final round artists to make their palettes, let's check out some highlights from round number two. 
Uh, and again, moving forward into the final, we're just announced Daniel Salcedo, Katie Lorraine, Fernando Renteria, Jamie Ben Cruz, and Eduardo. So we will be seeing them paint very, very shortly, momentarily, uh, and stay tuned. A landscape from Monica. All right, heading over to Fernando Renteria. And Fernando is really well known for creating these kind of uh, punk characters with uh, super vibrant colors surrounded by black. And I love, as I'm saying that, we're literally see him seeing him adding the black to this vibrant character already. Seeing kind of a, a blank-eyed face. And then uh, this black appendage coming off of this character. So 90 seconds in, it'll be interesting to see how that evolves. Easel number three, we have Adina Shore. And Adina uh, actually is a previous winner. She won Art Battle in Mexico City in July 2019. And she has also been a participant in Art Battle Vancouver. So Adina just can't get enough. Loves the rush of the Art Battle competition. I cannot wait to see what Adina brings to the easel for us today. We can kind of see these uh, this color pattern just emerging. Uh, and great directionality already from Adina. And here we are with Jamie Ben Cruz. And Jamie is quite the chameleon of an artist and can really execute a wide array of styles. So I really had no guess as to where Jamie would be going tonight. But it looks like we are getting a portrait. And a uh, really interesting application technique here in just the first three minutes. We can see that Jamie has roughed in the portrait uh, by creating these values with a larger brush and the portrait has been executed in this soft blue color but uh, already we're seeing him putting in this dark dark background so I like to see that I really feel like it's going to help him um, achieve that
que no pueden tocar, más bien pintar o algo su pienso, hasta que comience la competencia. The final round of Art Battle in Mexico City tonight. Super, super exciting final round. We actually had five artists move forward from our two qualifying rounds. We had a tie in our second round. So we are now welcoming Daniel Salcido, Katie Lorraine, Fernando Renteria, Jamie Bancruz, and Eduardo again to the easel. They have a, another canvas, another 20 minutes on the clock. And another opportunity to vie for your votes. Only one of them will be crowned the winner this evening. And that artist will move on to the Mexico City Finals. So big uh, big stakes here tonight. These artists really want to move forward and continue uh, painting in the tournament. The tournament continues uh, through different cities and regions. Uh, on to regional and national and international championships. So these guys are really uh, working hard to make sure that they get to continue painting in this art battle season. So here we are looking at Eduardo. And again, we're seeing him starting with this palette knife technique. And here we are with Fernando and uh, quite a different approach from Fernando. We really saw him working fairly small um, in the first way that he was establishing his character in his qualifying round. Uh, we are going big and blue here. Uh, definitely my kind of style and looks like we are getting a blue skull. So excited to see how that evolves. And here we are with Katie. I am so excited for Katie that she has been voted into the final round. Katie is a traveling artist who is visiting Mexico City from Toronto. She, she's actually an Art Battle Toronto champion. She won in October of last year. 
And look at how much fun she's having right now. I love how uh, how involved Katie is in not only the creation of the piece, but really the performance of live painting. She uh, she definitely has that down as an art battle painter. She is uh, a fan favorite. And we're seeing uh, what looks like the beginnings of a flamingo. And we can see her just really rapidly flicking uh, this white paint into the pink to blend and create that texture of feathers. And here we are with Daniel Salcido. And looks like he's taking an opposite approach uh, palette-wise to the creation of this character, although we can see already in just the beginning execution, the first uh, two and a half minutes, that this character is very true to Daniel's style um, and definitely references uh, the style of his qualifying piece with this kind of alien, this like cutesy punk alien creature. I dig it so much. Uh, here we are with Jamie Ben Cruz, and looks like we are getting a mountainscape from Jamie. So big departure uh, because we had seen a portrait from him in the first round. So super uh, exciting to see him working in a totally different style. And here we are back with Eduardo, um, and we can see a very similar approach to the way that Eduardo uh, first began his qualifying round piece in that we saw him uh, really laying out this expressive groundwork with some palette knife uh, applications and then going in tighter with a brush into the face. So much fun uh, with this skull from Fernando. And uh, I just want to remind everybody that <laughs> this is a four and a half minute piece. This is now a, a five minute piece. This piece really uh, stands on its own already, I think. And uh, I'm loving that it's very playful in its representation of anatomy. And that's kind of the way that I feel that this is going to be leaning. Uh, right now, a very painterly application, but uh, I think that Fernando is really leaning into blending this painterly application with some of his more stylistic, almost cartoony uh, elements of his illustrative style. So looking forward to that blend there. And uh, another excellent five minute painting, this uh, really tight execution of a flamingo from Katie Lorraine. We can see that she's just uh, throwing in the details here of the beak. Really great uh, time management technique here, I would say. Uh, here we are back with Daniel and I gotta say I love uh, all of these layering applications that he's doing this really washy establishment of this pink skin tone um, and then layering this darker purpley magenta over top 
um, with, of course, these pops of yellow. So a little bit different in terms of the color palette, but still very harmonious to his first round piece. And here we are back with uh, Jamie and again loving the angularity of these brush strokes very painterly application here still very much in the same color family but uh, Jamie did a great job at surprising us with his palette last time uh, adding in a lot of unexpected colors so while we're in the blues and the greens right now I think that that could uh, change with some layering and here with Eduardo, again, a very emotive uh, portrait. Loving this kind of uh, chaotic, expressive energy that comes from all of the knife work uh, that's around the face. And then as we get tighter into the portrait, uh, just establishing the expression of the portrait, adding even more into that emotive quality. Uh, Eduardo is really wonderful in the way that he builds uh, his portraits. More elements being added from Fernando here. We have uh, this skull is leaking rainbows. So much fun. Fernando is just an artist that really keeps you guessing. Uh, I bet that the crowd is really having a lot of fun watching Fernando work. I know that I am. Oh, wow. And we're even seeing... Uh, incredible. We're even seeing the spatter technique here um, at the bottom of the rainbow to suggest that the rainbow is hitting the bottom of the canvas and then splashing back. So much fun. Okay, what has Katie got going on here? Uh, it looks like we're getting some different elements added to this flamingo. I don't think you can ever expect anything super traditional uh, out of Katie. She always likes to add uh, a whimsical element, an element of humor. Uh, she's really, she really keeps you guessing. Lots of surprises from Katie. And I like the way that... Uh, She's dealing with the negative space of the canvas by creating kind of this chaotic energy of uh, the blue just smeared onto the back of the canvas and then suggested just slightly underneath the legs of the bird. What are we seeing? Is this is this flamingo getting a mohawk, perhaps? We are just chatting with our venue, uh, dealing with a few small technical difficulties. Uh, we had about a minute uh, without our camera in round number one, but we bounced back really quickly. So make sure that you stay tuned to catch the final moments of this final round in Art Battle Mexico City. These artists uh, are painting their hearts out with only eight and a half minutes left on the clock. Uh, before you get a chance to see their final pieces, maybe you want to go over to artbattle.com slash vote and register so that you are ready and prepared to vote uh, as soon as the timer finishes. Again, the winner of this event will move on to the Mexico City Finals.
We will be back in just a few moments, just dealing with some small technical difficulties at the venue. Also at the artbattle.com slash vote link, you can see all of the works created tonight uh, that are available for silent auction. All these works are available to take home. Uh, if you bid on them, we will ship them to you. Some really incredible work made tonight. Um, I know that a personal favorite of mine was Monica Asado and that gorgeous landscape piece. Can't say enough about it. Uh, another great surprise for me was Muriel Adame with the uh, application of that gold leaf. That was such a wonderful surprise. And of course, uh, Katie Lorraine's Frida Mrs. Potato Head. So much fun. Uh, so whimsical. And then, of course, Daniel Salcedo and that uh, menacing, mischievous uh, illustration portrait. Another piece that I definitely enjoyed was Arturo Macias and his swirling clouds of blue color over top of a black ground. Another artist that I really enjoyed watching tonight, I'd have to say, was Fernando Renteria. Uh, there were so many surprising elements that went into his qualifying round piece uh, and just such an incredible attitude. And really seems like Fernando is an artist who super knows his style, is really confident um, in executing something that is recognizably his Major Stardust is his uh, artist name. Fernando Renteria, a.k.a. Major Stardust. So good.
Again, thank you so much for hanging out with us as we deal with some small technical difficulties at the venue. Uh, it can be really difficult streaming uh, live art from all over the world. So bear with us. Okay, we are back with our camera at the venue in Art Battle, Mexico City.
We are just chatting with our camera person and we'll be getting up close and personal with our final round paintings in just a second. Okay, and here we are checking out Daniel Salcedo's beautiful piece. Something to say. Say it. 
said. Platícanos un poquito de ti, carnal. ¿Cómo te encanta? ¿Cómo te empezaste a ir en este mundo del arte? ¿Cómo decidiste agarrar esta pieza de arte como tu última arte? Ya se acabó la pila, güey. Maletita blanca que está allá atrás de mi mamá. Hay una...
si me dio falta pues.
Primeramente, gracias por acompañarnos esta, esta tarde noche. Todas las obras de esta noche están disponibles en la galería para las obras. ¿Ok? Y el campeón de hoy para la Ciudad de México es... Están todos artistas, los dos artistas. Levanten la mano, por favor, los dos artistas. ¿Están todos? Muy bien. Pues el artista que gana esta noche y se va a la final nacional y tendrá la oportunidad de concursar para a la final internacional. Ese artista lleva por nombre... Mexico City event winner has been announced. The winner, the painter that made it to the very top tonight was Fernando Renteria. So huge congratulations to Fernando. We will be seeing Fernando paint again in the Art Battle Mexico City Finals. The winner of the Art Battle Mexico City Finals will uh, move on to the national competition. The winner of that will go on to the international competition. We've got uh, lots of exciting events continuing all over the world. We will be back on the internet live streaming Art Battle on Tuesday in Toronto. 